Musicals don't look at the world the way Runaways looks at the world. To me, the thing about Runaways that's so special is that it is uncompromising in its grit, in its truth, in its joy, in its exuberance. It sees these things on the scale of the world and not the theater. We've assembled a group of strangers from all different backgrounds, all different corners of the city. It is important that these people become a family very quickly. They're asked to do some really hard things, some really uncomfortable things. And so we're using these education days to make them feel like they own this building, because they do for a bit. As performers, as people in the theater, you're like the harp. You're holding the torch for what's going on in the world that's important. You're pointing fingers to it. So you're giving voice to it. I met Liz when I was a student at NYU. I was a second year musical theater student. She changed my life so radically. She said very gently, kind of at the end of our last conversation, she was like, yeah, and I think you have to, um, I think you have to, to blow the roof off the, the joint. The word that I always think of when I think of Liz is ferocious. She's in the lexicon of a young woman who changed the rules. Liz had this way of just uh, extracting all of the rawest and least um, least expected things from her classes. Everyone who's in the room has a raw and exciting physical energy. I mean, we were watching for that as we went through these open calls. So we're trying to find ways of extracting what they have that nobody else has and giving them the space to really fly in that. And so far, based on the last you know, 24 hours of these education days, some thrilling partnerships have happened. Every night there are 26,000 homeless kids on the streets of New York. That's the documented number. So if we're taking it back to that, this show has more to say in 2016 than it did in 1978. Everybody's running from something. It's just what life is. You're running from your parents or from this or from that. Everybody's avoiding or waiting. It's just the course of being alive. And so in that way, I think, I think everybody should see it. It's, for me, like a chorus line, very different in the way that it expresses, but I think it's a reflection of just what it's like to be alive. If one of us would do one small thing to change, the needle would move in a big way. So the first step is come see the show.